There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he turns out to be someone who. Does. Yeah, well, we uh, we had a strange first date because our first date was really at the end of a class that we were in together, and I was walking out, and he followed me out and started talking to me, and it was at the end of the semester. It was 1971, and I had to go register for the classes for next year at law school, so I was standing in line. He was talking to me, and I got up, and I and I said, well, you, you going to register too? And he goes, yeah, yeah, and so we got up to the registrar's desk, and this really nice woman said, well, Bill, you were just here. He goes, no, don't say that. So, <laughs> so I registered, and then um, he said, well, you want to go, you know, get something to drink. And so we went for a walk, and we started walking, and we walked, and we walked, I mean, literally for an hour. Did he kiss you? Now, just a minute. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was later. Later. Yeah. Okay. We're still in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> For 35 years, I have been making positive differences in people's lives. That's that would take us back to 1973, the year she graduated from Yale Law School and went to work for the Children's Defense Fund, interviewing juvenile offenders and dropouts. Over the next few years, she moved from one success to the next, serving as a staff lawyer on the House Judiciary Committee as it considered impeaching President Nixon during Watergate, teaching criminal law at the University of Arkansas, and heading the Legal Services Corporation, a nonprofit which represents the poor. She had been appointed to the board by President Jimmy Carter. In Arkansas's First Lady decided to take a shot at reforming the state's abysmal education system. I really believe that our young students need as much personal attention as they can get. It was a tough sell involving the largest tax increase in the state's history and testing for teachers. Hillary went out into the state. She uh, held public hearings, I think, in all 75 counties. And she very effectively disarmed her critics. The people of our state... Her grassroots victory would go down as one of Bill Clinton's most significant gubernatorial accomplishments. So help me God. It prompted her husband to hand her an even larger policy initiative as soon as he won the White House, health care reform. Now is our chance to beat the historical odds and give the American people the health security they need and deserve. 
After two years and countless hearings, the 1,300-page plan imploded. Defeated but not deterred, Clinton set her sights on more manageable goals, like creating the state children's health insurance program and increasing vaccination rates. And behind the scenes, she got the last word on so many issues, staffers had a nickname for her the Supreme Court. Nothing but the truth. So. It was her idea to tap Janet <laughs> Reno for Attorney General and Madeleine Albright for Secretary of State. She had grave reservations about NAFTA, was probably against it, thought it originated correctly with Republicans. I've been to more than 82 countries. Mrs. Clinton likes to cite her extensive travel, more than 80 trips as First Lady, as part of her foreign policy experience. She promoted microfinance in Latin America, peace in Bosnia, and famously, human rights in China. It is no longer acceptable to discuss women's rights as separate from human rights. you're doing the darkest moment in your life well because I had tremendous faith number mm -hmm. one um, I really had to dig down deep and think hard about what was right for me what was right for my family mm -hmm. um, and I never I never doubted um, Bill's love for me ever and I never doubted my um, my faith and my commitment to our daughter and, mm -hmm. and our extended family but I had to decide what I had to do and I think it's so important to be able to hear yourself at a moment when it's hard it might be a family issue it might be a job issue it, 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 there's so many times when you really have to listen to yourself Were you Always said I would know where to find love Always thought I'd be ready and strong enough But sometimes I just felt I could give up But you came and you changed my whole world now I'm somewhere I've never been before Now I see what love means It's so unbelievable and I don't wanna let it go Something so beautiful Flowing down like a waterfall I feel like you've always been Forever a part of me And it's so unbelievable 